Hello guys, this is your Thursday video and this week I thought we would talk about something that a viewer suggested this morning. So I was just chatting with somebody this afternoon and um, he suggested that I do a video about gay weddings. But it's not the kind of gay wedding that you think about. No, it's not a video about two men or two women getting married to each other. Absolutely not. It's about gay Indian men marrying women. Yes. That's what I'm going to talk about this week. And it is a very common phenomenon. In India, there is a lot of pressure on people to get married, make babies, obviously, after they get married. And uh, that pressure translates in many, many men who are of um, uh, who have attraction towards their own sex uh, marrying uh, women. Now, it may be that uh, they consciously choose a, a lesbian partner uh, in order to um, uh, just be who they are while their wife uh, does what she has to do or they just choose uh, to be with a straight woman. Um, the thought here is, and I have heard it from guys, that well, it's alright and you have to live in the society and it doesn't really matter and um, well, you, have, you cannot disappoint your parents and we have to live here and we have to survive and yada 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 yada. There are loads, loads and loads and loads of reasons they give. But the point is that a marriage is just not about sex and it's more than just about uh, sex. It's about companionship, uh, feeling fulfilled and carrying on with your life with a partner. Now, if you choose your partner, you need somebody who will support you, who will love you, who will comfort you, and yes, indeed, who will have sex with you. In India, women are, well, obligated to do all of those things and chances are that men will find a woman who does all of those things with them. But when a gay man and a straight woman are married with each other, the problem is that the man will find sexual satisfaction elsewhere. And he may, well, keep his woman satisfied, but his heart would be elsewhere. And there is, is nothing but cheating yourself, first of all, and then cheating your wife as well. And now I'm not preaching that people should not have extra marital sex. I mean, for if you are in an open marriage and you both are comfortable with the idea of sleeping with other people, sure, go ahead. But what I'm talking about here, and this is very important that you understand, is I'm talking about people cheating each other to get married with each other. By not revealing crucial information about your sexual orientation, you are cheating your wife. Or your wife is cheating you if she happens to be a lesbian. This is completely unethical. It's completely unprincipled. It's completely immoral. And it, con it goes on. And some people might say, well, who am I to judge those people? But I'm not judging them. I'm just talking about the situation as it exists in this country. Now, the reason I was asked to make this video by this person was he, ma he raised a very uh, pertinent point that if we do not like ourselves, if we do not accept our own sexuality, how can we have the society accept us? He makes a good point there. If you do not love yourself, you can never get anybody else to love you as well. So if you're not proud of who you are, if you want to hide yourself, and if you don't want to be who you are in the open, then you are an unprincipled person. You are selfish and you are to some extent doing a disservice to LGBT movement and also 
a disservice to those around you, your friends, your family, your future partners, whether they, you marry a girl or you, or you be with a man. So, sorry, burp. But what I'm trying to say here is, if you want to be with somebody, be with somebody who you love, do not make the mistake of thinking you would be able to carry on business as usual. You will not be happy in a marriage with a straight woman. You will not be happy just by making your parents happy. You will not be happy and therefore people around you will also not be happy. You will be frustrated, you will be angry with yourself and you will end up making the life of those around you miserable. And now let's just address the problem of bisexuality as well. Lots of people claim that they're bisexual. A lot of them are bisexual. If you are bisexual, by all means, marry the person who you fall in love with. Marry the person who you want to marry. Be with the person who you want to be with. Whether it's a guy, whether it's a girl, does not matter. But if you're a bisexual, it does not mean that you have uh, a free pass to be with anybody you choose to be with. You need to respect other people. If you have a wife and children at home, stay at home with your wife and children. Unless your wife knows what you're up to and your gay partner or your bisexual partner knows that you have a family and you they are happy playing with you. In that case, by all means, go ahead, do whatever your heart desires. But there are loads of gay men who give the excuse that we are all bisexuals. No, we are not all bisexuals. We can have attraction to the opposite gender and the same gender and it varies. I agree with that principle, but we are not all bisexuals. There are different sexual orientations and people who like men like men and people who like women like women and people who like both like both of them. It is a simple enough thing to understand. And you might say that human sexuality is not that simple but you know what if you are attracted to men why would you want to marry a woman it's common sense you wouldn't want to do that so no everyone is not bisexual no we cannot all be bisexual and no we do not need to adjust this is the 21st century we definitely do not need to adjust we need to be bold we need to be brave we need to be forthright and we need to be honest those things take balls Questions are, question is, do you have the balls to come out and to say to people, you know what, I'm this way, I'm going to live my way, and I'm going to do things my way. I know you don't agree with my lifestyle, but I'm sorry, I'm going to be who I am. That takes guts. That is being a real man. Can you do that? Well, only time will tell in everyone's case, but I'm sure this week's video gives you a lot to think about. Now some of you who have been watching these videos might have noticed new glasses and here is some advice for you guys. Don't go shopping for glasses with your mother otherwise you'll end up looking dorky as I do. <laughs> well, mistakes made but I'm going to wear them. I feel very comfortable in them and uh, these are anti-glare glasses. I sit a lot on the computer so my headaches are gone. Uh, since I've started wearing these. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you like the video give it a thumbs up. If you like the video subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.